Welcome to another video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this series, we are covering everything you need to know about fractions. Since there is a lot to cover, we will use multiple videos. Please use the link in the description or in the comment section to watch the entire playlist and master fractions. You can check out ultimatealgebra.com for more. Let's dive right in. A fraction is a way to represent something as part of a whole. For example, let's say you have a pizza, and this pizza is cut into eight equal slices. If you take one slice, you'll be left with seven slices out of the eight slices available. Here, seven over eight is a fraction. Or let's say you have five apples, and you eat two of them. You will be left with three out of the five apples available. Here, 3 over 5 is a fraction. For a fraction, the top number, called the numerator, tells how many parts we are concerned about. In the case of the pizza, the 7 represents the part left. The bottom number, called the denominator, tells how many equal parts the whole is divided into. In the case of the pizza, we have 8 because it is divided into 8 parts. Same idea with the apples. Note that every fraction has a numerator and a denominator. There are three types of fractions. They are proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. First, we'll talk about proper fractions. Let's say you have another pizza, and this pizza is cut into three equal slices. If you take one slice, there will be two slices left out of the three that were available. This two over three here is a proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator. In our example, the numerator, which is 2, is less than the denominator, which is 3. So, it is a proper fraction. Next, let's talk about mixed numbers. Let's say we have three whole pizzas, and we take one slice from the third pizza. We will have two whole pizzas left and two slices out of three from the third pizza. So, we'll have two and two-thirds of pizza available. This here is a mixed number. It is called a mixed number because it is a mix of a whole number and a fraction. For our example, the two here is the whole number and the two over three is the proper fraction. Finally, let's talk about improper fractions. Going back to our pizza example, we said there are two whole pizzas and two out of three slices from another pizza left. That gave us the mixed number, two and two thirds. Now, instead of writing it as a mixed number, we want to count all the slices together. Instead of saying we have two whole pizzas, we can say that we have six slices of pizzas. Then we add the two extra slices from the third pizza. That gives us six plus two, which equals eight slices in total. Since every whole pizza is made up of three slices, we keep the denominator as three. So now we have eight slices out of three sliced pizzas. That's written as eight over three. This is what we call an improper fraction. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. In our example, the numerator, which is eight, is greater than the denominator, which is three, so it is an improper fraction. We can see that improper fractions are also another way of writing mixed numbers. So you can convert them into one another. Now let's talk about converting fractions. Before we do that, please encourage us to post more videos by liking and sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and become a member for more exclusive content. Let's continue. We can convert a mixed number into an improper fraction and an improper fraction into a mixed number but you cannot convert a proper fraction. First, let's discuss turning mixed numbers into improper fractions. Let's say we had three and one half as our mixed number. To convert it into an improper fraction, we'll follow these simple steps. First, we'll multiply the denominator by the whole number. So we'll multiply the two here by the three. Two times three is six. Next, we'll add the result we just got to the numerator. So we'll add the six to the numerator, which is one. Six plus one equals seven. So this seven becomes the numerator for the improper fraction. 
Finally, we'll use the same denominator in the example. Here, the denominator was 2. So it would become the denominator of the improper fraction. Therefore, the answer is 7 over 2. Now, let's do another example. Let's convert the mixed number 1 and 1 quarter into an improper fraction. To do this, we'll follow the easy steps we discussed earlier. First, we'll multiply the denominator by the whole number. So, we'll multiply the 4 here by the 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Next, we'll add the result we just got to the numerator. So, we add this 4 to the 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, 5 becomes the numerator. Finally, we'll use the same denominator in the example. Here, the denominator was 4. So, it would become the denominator of the improper fraction. So, the answer is 5 over 4. Next, we'll discuss turning improper fractions into mixed numbers. Let's say we have the fraction 11 over 4. This is an improper fraction. To convert this into a mixed number, we'll follow these easy steps. First, we'll divide the numerator by the denominator. So, we'll divide 11 by the 4. To perform this division, we need to find a number that when multiplied by 4 gives a result smaller than, but close to 11. We can use 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Next, we subtract 8 from the 11. This will give us 3. So, 11 divided by 4 is 2 with a remainder of 3. If you don't understand how we got this result, please check out our video on performing long division. Now the 2 here, becomes our whole number, and the remainder, which is 3, becomes the new numerator. Finally, we use the same denominator, 4, as the denominator over here. Therefore, if we convert 11 over 4 into a mixed number, we get 2 and 3 quarters. Now, let's try another example. Let's convert the improper fraction, 7 over 5, into a mixed number. To solve this, we'll follow the simple steps we discussed earlier. First, we'll divide the numerator by the denominator. So, we have 7 divided by 5. To perform this division, we need to find a number that when multiplied by 5, gives a result smaller than, but close to 7. So, we'll use 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Next, we subtract 5 from the 7. This will give us 2. So, 7 divided by 5 is 1 with a remainder of 2. Now the 1 here becomes the whole number. And the remainder, which is 2, becomes our numerator. Finally, the 5 here is the denominator in the example. So, it will become the denominator of the mixed fraction. So, our final answer is 1 and 2 fifths. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. Watch the full playlist of our fraction videos and check out our other math videos on YouTube. Don't forget to visit ultimatealgebra.com or become a member for access to exclusive content.